Hi, I'm Steve Shul, the mayor of the city of Durham. Because of the coronavirus, these are uncertain times in our nation and right here at home in Durham. I know that there's a lot of anxiety about the virus and already the virus has caused some of our neighbors to lose their jobs as their places of business have shut down. This is really sudden and really hard and our hearts go out to all of them. But we are not helpless in the face of this virus. There is a lot that each of us and all of us can do to fight the virus together. Let me tell you some of the actions that we are taking now. Some of them may seem drastic, but all of them are necessary to slow the spread of the virus and to save lives. The earlier we take these important actions, the safer our community will be, and the sooner everyone will be back to work. In order to fight the spread of the virus, on March 13th, I declared a state of emergency for the city of Durham. This order mandated the closing of city facilities, including the Durham Performing Arts Center, the Carolina Theater, and other facilities where large crowds gather. We have canceled our city council meetings and closed our recreation centers, all to help with the social distancing necessary to fight this virus. The Durham Board of Education has canceled school for several weeks. Governor Cooper has closed all restaurants and bars throughout the state, except for takeout and delivery services. Chief Justice Sherry Beasley has shut down many courtroom activities for the next several weeks, including evictions and foreclosures. The city stopped all water cutoffs on March the 9th and our local private utilities have followed suit. Many private companies have taken action so that their employees can work from home. Duke University Health System, including Duke Regional Hospital and Lincoln Community Health Center, are gearing up their protocols and their capacity for a potential surge in coronavirus cases. Our homeless service providers are meeting, virtually meeting over the phone that is, to see how we can best serve our homeless residents. I endorse all of these actions wholeheartedly and there will have to be more of them. While some of them are dramatic, here is the truth. The earlier we act, the better our chances of success in reducing the spread of this virus and of saving lives. The earlier we act, the shorter will be the duration of this disruption in our lives. Other countries, other states, other cities, other companies have acted too late. Let's make sure that doesn't happen in Durham. If you were like me, you had never heard the phrase social distancing before a couple of weeks ago. And now this phrase is on everybody's tongue. Indeed, social distancing is the key to fighting this virus. And here's the good news. We are not helpless in the face of the virus. We all, including you, have a role to play. Maybe you're a baby boomer like me. Remember that we baby boomers are also senior citizens, a group very vulnerable to this virus. Senior citizens should stay home if at all possible. Skip your poker game or your line dancing or your church group and stay at home for a while. For all you millennials, while it is true that you are at lower risk from the coronavirus, there are many people under the age of 40 who have become severely ill with the virus, including some who have died, and young people who contract the virus but have only mild symptoms or are showing no symptoms at all can easily pass it on to people who are at higher risk. So please take social distancing seriously, whatever your age group. Avoid crowds at all costs. Work from home if you possibly can. Cancel all non-essential meetings and social gatherings. Keep, keep six feet of distance before, between yourself and others. And social distancing can be fun. Our parks and trails are open. There are beautiful spring days upon us for a walk around the neighborhood, a run, a bike ride, read your new novel, binge watch your favorite TV show, beat your husband at Scrabble. You can do all of that at home. There are other ways you can help fight the virus as well. The Durham Public Schools Foundation is a fabulous organization that is taking donations to help feed and support our children while they're out of school. Day One Disaster Relief is a fundraising effort to provide immediate support for the crucial needs of impacted communities. Check out these organizations' websites and donate. We know that life in Durham and across our nation and the world won't be business as usual for the next few weeks and even months. There will be disruptions in our common life, and they will sometimes be very difficult disruptions. But now is the time to act. God forbid that we should fail to act now, all of us, and then have to look back and regret while the virus ravages our community. Let's prevent that by acting boldly now and by each of us taking responsibility for our own actions. We can slow the spread of the coronavirus. We can save lives, many of them. Each of us can act so all of us are safe. Oh yeah, and wash your hands a lot. Let's beat this virus the Bull City way.